All right, this is a message to the Georgia Bulldogs and all the Georgia Bulldogs fans, all of them. Anybody who got an issue with this video, I really don't give a shit. Listen to me, man. And, and, and the words of Uncle Lou, down there in Athens, it is a dumpster fire. It is a dumpster freaking fire. The greatest irrelevant team in the history of college football are the Georgia Bulldogs. The greatest disappointment in all of college football is the Georgia Bulldogs. Do you understand what I'm saying? See, I'm not going to sit here with props. I'm not going to sit here and say, well, oh my gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, uh, let me wipe my screen off so y'all can really see me. Make sure y'all can see the clearness of this sexy chocolate, man. Um, I don't get it. I don't get how you get top pick after top pick after top pick after top pick. How you continually have a top five recruit class for the past 65 years and still continue to choke on the bone. But yet, they continue to give you respect. Why is that? Because you play in the SEC East? Why is that? Because you're the Georgia choke dogs? Listen to me, man. It is a mother freaking dumpster fire down there in the, in the city of Athens. It's a dumpster fire down in the city of Athens. And Georgia Bulldogs continue to be a dumpster fire since Mark Rick was there. Before Mark Rick and after Mark Rick, they are a dumpster fire. They are a dumpster fire. They are a perennial dumpster fire. They are perennial choke artists. They, they, they choke. They're the Buffalo Bills of, the, uh, 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 of college football. Flat out. You're the Buffalo Bills. Of college football, you let a man with the coronavirus come up to uh, come, come come and beat your asses. You let a man with the coronavirus coach your game and beat and, and, and beat the Athens the Athens Chihuahuas, cause that's what you are. That's what you are. All mouth but no bark. All mouth but no bark. The Athens Bulldogs, the Athens Chihuahuas. Listen, man. It's been 40 years. And I bet you what you're gonna say, oh, 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 oh but we but we're better, but we're better than we're better than Miami right now. But listen to me, man. Nobody remembers second place, man. Except for me, because I remember the Buffalo Bills. The last time you won fucking football, I think Ronald Reagan might have been president. I think. We had black and white TVs. You had to hold a motherfucking antenna. You had to hold it. You had to put a clothes hanger on the antenna. We didn't have central air and heat the last time we, the last time you won a national championship. Um, they didn't have power windows in cars the last time you won a national championship. Um, 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 there were no solar panels the last time you won. You won a national championship. Oh, uh, let me see what else, what else, what else. They didn't have rubber made garbage cans the last time you won college football. Um, let me see what, what 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 else they didn't have. What else they didn't have. What else they didn't have. They didn't have CD players. They were still they still had they still had uh uh eight track tape tape play eight track eight track tapes. The last time you won a national championship. Um, um, anything else? Anything else? As a matter of fact, they have went so crazy. Herschel Walker has gone so crazy that he is the biggest Trump supporter there is right now because the Georgia Bulldogs, the Georgia Bulldogs turned him into a Trump supporter. Like you have got to be kidding me. Oh my God. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. To all the Georgia Bulldog fans, man. I salute you. I salute you for rooting for the greatest losers in the history of all the sports. My bad. 
that would have to go to the Buffalo Bills. But you guys run a close second. I'm out.